peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Let's do it. Are you here because you suffer from a broken software release process? Do you feel you're one more status meeting away from throwing in the towel? Do you even know what I'm talking about right now? Not gonna lie, I'm a little lost myself. If you're involved in software development, you know that bringing new and fresh product features to the market is not easy. It's a highly organized and complex process that inevitably has problems when it comes to deploying releases. Today, we're going to walk through what release management is and cover the six steps that'll help your team take your release process from chaos to clarity. Let's start off with the basics by breaking release management into two parts, starting with the first half. What is a release? A release or release unit is the deployment of one or more changes to a product into the production environment. So for example, when Apple has a new update, they release it to everyone's devices so they can enjoy the new feature. But before they can release it, they first have to do their due diligence. And this is where the management part comes into play. Release management is the planning, scheduling, and testing of the product through various phases and environments. And during these phases, changes are tracked, tested, and corrected as many times as needed before a successful release. To achieve a successful release and survive in this competitive era, product managers will monitor KPIs and metrics to ensure their users can use these updates to support their businesses. Although release management is undoubtedly hard work from start to finish, the benefits outweigh the struggles. As modern technology becomes sophisticated, developers have paved the way to release new features faster and safer. With an agile delivery approach, teams can better coordinate release activities to minimize the impact on their businesses. By breaking down large bodies of work into manageable tasks and organizing them into the product backlog, the team can better manage and assess for planning. So now that we've covered the basics, here are six steps to help you with your team's release management process. Step one, lead the way to release. The first step involves a product manager, product team, and key stakeholders defining the vision. This is where everyone sits down to review the upcoming release and designs to ensure that everyone is on the same page. This is also where the team can prioritize feature improvements for both the business and the consumer. After this, the release manager can determine the scope of work with key stakeholders to create a detailed plan of the build requirements, feasibility, priority, and testing of the product ideas. This process is essential to be thorough on because it articulates the value of the release. Step two, the road to code. The engineering and DevOps teams work within their specific feature branches to translate the product requirements and stakeholders' expectations with a roadmap. Feature branches are sections of the master branch line, and the master branch line is where all feature branches are collected and integrated to push to production. A development team assigned to a specific feature branch can build, test, and make any changes without causing disruption or instability to the other feature branches. However, integrating all code too early in the development cycle will likely create conflicts and unintentionally cause delays. By separating into branches, it allows developers to work on tasks simultaneously and get feedback quickly. Step three, the wild, wild test of QA. The quality assurance or QA team looks for potential risks in a stable staging environment. This is where the QA team can pinpoint when capabilities fail and act on them by continually running regular tests. This is kind of like when you stand in front of your bathroom mirror and test pickup lines on yourself. And yes, they work on me every time. Staging environments are helpful to test features with a small group of users before the full release. This allows for aggressive testing and performance tracking before it's available to the end user. One of the best ways to ensure increased reliability is automating repetitive tasks as much as possible. Automation allows release frequencies to perform quicker and it also minimizes human error. Step four, stay calm and prepare. After testing has passed the staging environment safely and changes are addressed, the product marketing team drafts release notes to confirm the deployment of the features. Then, after initial reviews and approvals, the feature owner should do a final inspection of any documentation related to the release. Along with the release plan for end users, training and adoption materials for internal departments should be available and just as detailed. This way, if a user has a specific question about the release, you can help enable customers to use the product to the fullest. Hey, Eric, can you help me with this update? Nope. Step five. Let it go to production. Now, at this point, your newly built and tested software release is sent to production for users. This is also where the marketing team publishes the internal and external release notes, communicates it to the customers, and organizes the chaos if urgent changes are needed. 
And lastly, step six, collect likes and dislikes. Reporting efficiencies, opportunities for improvement, and monitoring system health is essential for growth. In addition, honest user feedback is crucial to perform maintenance and meet user requirements. Now, I know there are some out there that say, don't listen to the haters, or haters gonna hate, or they're just peanut butter and jealous. Hmm, I really want a sandwich. But listening to users' likes and dislikes works to your advantage. This will feed into the software development lifecycle and ensure that the next release is better than the last. It's like we say here at ClickUp, grow 1% every day. Organizations across all industries have committed to continuously updating their product to provide people with better design, usability, and output with each upgrade. And although software continues to change the way organizations work, there's also a human side to it. So we find new ways to help people stay connected and simplify life's challenges. Implement these six steps in your business and achieve a controllable, measurable, and automated release management process. Cut. Peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time.